and th- just a quick side note, I don't want to um, hijack the whole conversation about oxalates. They're okay, incredibly sure. important and, and here and dear to me, but um, they, if you don't know what they are, take a look. Um, they under a microscope look like little tiny shards of glass and our body can deal with a certain amount every day. Uh, if our, um, uh, some of our micronutrients aren't, aren't high. I think there's, there, there are certain things that in our, in our body chemistry that can make us more susceptible to oxalates or not. But regardless, if we, if we consume more than we can get rid of, and one bowl of spinach is like four times the amount that our body can actually uh, safely get rid of, wow. then our body stores them in different places in the body. And one of the most dangerous things about oxalate is that it's not a plant toxin that we, um, you know, we eat the plant that contains it one day and within several hours or the next day we feel the effects, right? If that's the case, then we know, okay, I'm not going to eat that plant again. But this is a toxin that builds up in our bodies over months or years or sometimes even decades and then begins to cause problems like kidney stones wow. is a direct result of high oxalate diet. Um, most off, it, there's four types of gout. The only type of gout that we talk about uh, in the modern world right now is, is, is gout caused by uric acid. But quite often, gout um, is caused by um, calcium or oxalates. And in, if you've been diagnosed with gout, and you haven't got a uric acid test, get a uric acid test. Because if it's not the uric acid, the problem is the diet that they put you on, if they think you have uh, gout caused by a uric acid, is the exact wrong diet that you should be on if you have gout caused Mm -hmm. by oxalates. Um, All sorts of pains, arthritic conditions. I mean, the list goes on and on. There's a fantastic um, woman. Her name is Sally Norton, who's one of the leading experts in plant oxalates in the world. She's actually just here this weekend giving a presentation her website is fantastic with a bunch of free information and she's coming out with a has come out with a book that releases in December called Toxic Superfoods. It is well worth it. I've read it cover mm-hmm. to cover. It's it's amazing. Um so that's that. So if you're suffering from kidney stones, pain or inflammation that you can't pinpoint somewhere else. Um in fact, in general, if you are getting up, I, I always say that I want to live like a wild animal. Mm -hmm. Wild animals live these incredibly amazing lives and then keel over dead. I mean, that's, that's what I want to do. We've normalized, you know, dying for the Mm -hmm. last 20, 30, 40 years of our life. If you're 40 years old or 50 years old or 60 years old and you're getting up out of bed and you're in your feet are swollen and they hurt, or you're creaking when you go up the steps at night, or you're just generally in pain that isn't from some sort of an injury and you can't pinpoint it. And you've just sort of normalized it. Like, Oh, that's what getting old is like. No, that's what getting old is like now because we're on such poor diets. Mm. That's not what getting old should be like. If you fall in any of those categories, and certainly I am not a medical doctor, so I'm not saying what it is. I don't even, you know, have met anybody, Mm -hmm. but look it up. It's worth going down a rabbit hole for a day or two on Google, looking at oxalates, seeing if you have a lot of these foods in your diet. Um, Just to show you how dangerous it is, a quick example is um, um, for the first time ever in the history of our species, we have kids under the age of 10 presenting with kidney stones. Um, And it's happening in families uh, where these kids are drinking a bunch of almond milk instead of cow's milk. You know, certainly parents are thinking they're doing, you know, what they should be doing to feed their kids these healthy. But all of a sudden, they're ingesting massive quantities of oxalates on a daily basis. And we have nine-year-old kids with kidney stones as a result of it. That's how dangerous they are.